Hi, Kevin Coop here, and this is FaceTime with the Content Guy. A friend of mine the other day sent me a link to a LinkedIn posting by branding expert Martin Lindstrom, in which he talked about some of Walmart's recent problems and what he thinks the solution is. Now, uh, in, Mar in Lindstrom's piece, he writes that while Walmart blames its recent problems on things like increased wages and competition from places like uh, Amazon.com, in fact, the real answer to Walmart's big problem, he writes, is so small they've never noticed it. And what he's talking about is Walmart's increased reliance on what everybody calls big data, right? Um, and suggests what the company really needs to do is focus on small data. And there's a real big difference between the two. And by the way, this makes a lot of sense. Lindstrom has just written a book called Small Data. I'm a big fan of writing pieces that reflect backs on back on books you, you are trying to sell, which is why I've had so many columns over the last few years that have used phrases like retail rules and the big picture. Um, now, small data, as Lindstrom defines it, is really about spending time in real consumers' homes, embedding themselves in local communities, and converting locations into vibrant community stores. Now, retailers that see the world through the eyes of consumers, not through their own needs in terms of infrastructure and organization, and he count, counts companies like Lowe's Foods and Wegmans among them, have the best potential of being breakout winners in the new world order. He thinks this is really important. And he says, boy, where you really get to win is where big, uh, big data and small data overlap and can be integrated together for insights. Now, I mostly agree with Lindstrom on this. I think that he's absolutely right. He doesn't particularly care whether I agree with him, but eh, I do. Um, but for me, it's really about, it's always been about two things. It's, for, it's about having actionable data, and it's about actually acting on the actionable data. And those are not necessarily the same thing. I mean, it seems to me that in so many ways, if you have one piece of data that you act on, that you look at, you look at it in terms of relevance, you try to gain insights from it, and then you try and put into action strategies and tactics that revolve around that piece of data. Well, that's a lot more important than having hundreds or thousands of data points that you do nothing with. They just fill up a hard drive or a, a disk drive somewhere. You know, and it's really important not just to depend on technology. I think it's also important to, to get insights from what you see and what you hear in stores. You know, eyes and ears. They can still be a pretty potent way of compiling information if you actually use them right. Now, done right, it seems to me, you know, data can be converted into stories. And that's what's really important here, right? I mean, data unconnected doesn't necessarily add up to something. But if you're looking at the stories of how customers are living their lives and you try and convert that information into the story of what the store is all about, the stories that make a store differentiated and compelling and relevant to the consumer, that's where the big win is, right? Data is important, big data, small data, whatever. But what's really important is the idea of stories that really, really matter. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this Thursday morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.